the fifth chakra, throat chakra, positive pole or giving mode in male body, negative pole or receiving mode in female body. Now, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> this is going to be controversial. Man, this is this is where they call me chauvinistic, probably. But I didn't create this. <laughs> <laughs> this positive pole, fifth chakra in a male's body is the reason why the majority of the world's renowned poets, scientists, creators are men. It is the voice or throat chakra and it is very active in a man. In a woman, this chakra is in the receiving mode. You know, when I read this, I couldn't help but think uh, uh, maybe this is also connected to uh, in the New Testament uh, where they talk a lot about uh, the women not teaching or the women, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, not 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 speaking in in in, in uh, the public forum, the gatherings, right. like yeah. Right. And I was like, maybe there's a connection. Uh, well, what do you, what do you think? This is interesting. <laughs> it is very interesting, and that was another thing this lady kept telling me: your throat chakra is weak. Well, I grew up listening to people. I, I grew up listening. It was a man's culture. I We would listen. And I learned a lot of things just listening, you know. So let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Let's say you went out on a date with somebody. Now, let's do two scenarios. Let's say one of them, you know, you're talking and, and she's she's just listening. She's finding what you're saying just fascinating. She's listening to you and and, you know, just like really, really enjoying the conversation. Now think of how you feel in that situation. How what kind? How would you feel in that situation? Well, she's talking. She's talkative. No, you're, you're talkative. I'm, you're the I'm, one that's. You're talking, and she's listening, and she's really enjoying the things you're saying. Maybe you're saying you're, you're funny. She's laughing. You know, you're talking to her. Right. Right. And she's you, responding. Now, now switch it to uh, where she's talking all the time, and you can't, can't get a word in edgewise. How right. do you feel? Tell me, tell me how you feel in this one or this one. <laughs> right, right. That's, you know, this is a great question. This is a great question. Um, and maybe I'm, I'm different and unique. I don't know. But on a date or not, just out, out, out to dinner or whatever. We could be in a relationship, but we're out to dinner or just a, a date with, with someone I met. Right. I've always been the type to listen. I listen more. I want to know about them. You know, I want to know about them. I want to know how they communicate. I want to hear their story. Uh, I would tell bits and pieces of me, but I love listening, you know, to stories and get to know the history. Now, if we're in a relationship or, or, or even dating, right? Just dating. I don't want a woman who's very talkative to everyone in public or <laughs> yeah, I don't want that, but yeah. talkative with me. Is that, is that weird? <laughs> you know, I think we're getting into more than the chakras because again, uh, you know, <laughs> again, your, your astrology plays into that, you know, what you're uh -huh. comfortable with, how much, I don't know. I've tried to figure out the throat chakra one because that one just seems so unique i mean yeah. i love listening to people too but then then uh when it gets to the point where i feel safe with them right. then i i i'm I, I can just open up and talk but i still like to listen i still want to hear their feedback right so again right. again maybe maybe the only way that a woman can ping on those male chakras is if she actually feels safe with the male if he's in the power, his power in those male chakras. I don't know. It's right. a very interesting uh, thought. <laughs> right, right. It is. It is. Um, I know this is going <laughs> to, I'm going to get some feedback in the comments. I hey, think that's it, fine. We want feedback, <laughs> guys. <laughs> I, I think, I think, I think we could be playing with fire. It could be potentially dangerous if, uh, a woman 
is very talkative amongst a bunch of men. Uh-huh. Right? Um I think it, I could think I think it'd be uh it could show as a weakness because men are analyzing. And if she likes to hear herself talk a lot, uh you know, men are watching and they're like, Okay, there's there's the loophole. There's the weakness right there. So so what do you think okay. So so what you said again is the, the male or the on the male, the throat chakra is positive, right? And the mm-hmm. female it's a negative. Correct. So so would that show would that show an imbalance in the chakras? Would that show an insecurity being that if she's a female and her her throat chakra is polarized the wrong way? Do you think that's where the loophole is? Because now they're seeing that there's a weakness there. So that's probably an insecurity, right? Yeah, I mean, just from my experience, I'm not saying every woman. Right. From my experience, uh, the loudest woman, the woman that had to be heard and seen, had a lot of insecurity. Right. Had a lot of insecurity. Uh, And when you got to know them, they were really sensitive. Mm -hmm. And and, and wanted, wanted attention. They really crave for the intention of one man, but mm-hmm. they were not getting it. And so they expressed this in other ways to get attention. But yeah. these were some of the, these were some of the weakest women, women I've come across. 